Imagine a place so barren where any form of life barely seemed to exist. So flat you seem to see the curvature of the planet. This is Bonville Salt Flats, a desert like you have never seen before. Welcome to Bonville Salt Flats in Utah. It's so cold out here this morning. The water is freezing and my feet feel a bit weird because of the salt. I'm out here in the middle and it's absolutely gorgeous. I visited Bonville Salt Flats located in the western part of the Great Salt Lake Desert near the Utah-Nevada border. With an area of about 100 square kilometers, it's so huge that once you arrive, you will know you are there. In ancient times, there used to be a lake called Lake Bonville, part of which dried up leaving behind salt deposits and the present day Great Salt Lake. The salt flats are easily accessible from the rest area in Wendover, located along the IAT. There is no trail in the salt flats, so you are free to explore on foot wherever you want and enjoy the 360 degree view of snow capped mountains in the distance. Cracks. Hope it doesn't crack open. God damn, man, it's a big crack. Oh my god, is it even safe to be out here? I don't know. I hope it is. So it's just me in this huge salt flat. Look at this, there's nobody around here. Then I headed to a famous Bonville Speedway, one of the most popular areas for speed racing in the world. Now the salt flats are flooded from the recent heavy rainfalls, so driving on the flats is prohibited as they can be easily damaged by motor vehicles. But when they are dry, you can definitely drive on them. Every year in August, Bonville Speed Week is organized when people from all over the world gather here in an attempt to break the land speed record. It seems like not even the simplest form of life can exist here. While that can be true for the most part, there are some places like ponds and marshy areas where some plants and animals can be seen. I went so far in, I was like woo, over there. The salt flat is so hard, my feet are hurting real, real bad. I cannot feel my feet anymore actually. After all, it's a desert and temperatures can soar above 100 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer and drop well below 0 degrees in the winter. So if you are planning to visit here, make sure to prepare accordingly. That's all for today. I'll see you from somewhere else on the road again. Until then, 